Hey, hey, learners, I hope that you were having a great day. Our planet is called Earth. How would you describe planet Earth? Scientists say that the Earth is divided into four spheres. A sphere is an area or region. The four spheres of the Earth are the lithosphere, the atmosphere, the hydrosphere and the biosphere. In this lesson, we will discover what the four spheres are. The lithosphere. The word, litho means rock or sand. Therefore, the lithosphere refers to the land, mountains, rock and sand that make up the earth. The structure of the earth may be divided into different layers. The outermost layer is the crust. This is where all living things exist. Below the crust is the mantle. The outer core and inner core of the earth are found at the center of our planet. The outer core is made of melted rock called magma. It is very hot at the outer core and inner core. The earth is made of three main kinds of rock. These are igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. We say that rock is formed during the process of the rock cycle. It all starts when the magma from under the crust of the earth moves towards the earth's surface. This causes a volcanic eruption. The magma is called lava as it leaves the volcano. The lava flows out of the volcano. Over a long period of time the lava cools and hardens. This cool and hard lava is called igneous rock. The igneous rock is eroded into smaller parts through water and wine erosion. The smaller parts of rock fall into the oceans and rivers. As time passes, different layers of rock create sediments that harden due to exposure to heat and pressure. This creates sedimentary rock. Meanwhile, the other igneous rock can be exposed to more heat and pressure under the earth's surface. This changes the igneous rock into metamorphic rock. These processes take many millions of years to occur. The atmosphere. The word atmos means gases. So, the atmosphere consists of gases. The gases surround the earth. There are two main gases in the atmosphere. Nitrogen makes up about 78% of the atmosphere, whilst oxygen makes up 21%. Only 1% of the atmosphere is made of a gas called argon. A very small amount of trace gases such as water vapor and carbon dioxide are also found in the atmosphere. The presence of the trace gases will vary depending on where one is on Earth. The atmosphere extends approximately 700 kilometers from the surface of the Earth and consists of different layers. Space is beyond 700 kilometers. This is where many satellites orbit the Earth. The satellites help people with communications and scientific research. The exosphere extends from 300 to 700 kilometers from the Earth's surface. This is where meteorites enter the atmosphere. The thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, and troposphere are closer to the Earth's surface. Weather balloons that are used to make weather predictions move in the stratosphere. The ozone layer of the atmosphere is found in the stratosphere. The ozone layer helps to protect living things from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. The troposphere is where living things exist. This is where most weather occurs. The highest mountains are in the troposphere. Airplanes operate in the troposphere.
The hydrosphere, the word hydro, means water. The hydrosphere consists of all the water that covers and surrounds the earth. There is water on the earth surface in the oceans, rivers and lakes as well as under the surface of the earth in the form of ground water. 71% of the earth is covered with water whilst 29% is land. The water that is on planet earth has existed for millions of years. The water goes through what is called the water cycle. The water is in the oceans lakes and rivers in a liquid state of matter. The sun heats the water. The water evaporates and becomes water vapor. The water vapor cools high in the atmosphere. The water vapor condenses to form liquid water in the form of water drops. The water drops form clouds. The clouds move over the land. The water drops become larger and fall to the earth. This is called precipitation. There are three kinds of precipitation called rain, hail and snow. The water from the precipitation flows into rivers and eventually enters the ocean. This is known as the water runoff. The water cycle begins again. The biosphere. The word bio means living. The biosphere consists of all living things. Can you name the living things shown in these pictures? We may refer to living things as living organisms. The word organism comes from the word organic which also means living. There are many kinds of living organisms such as plants and animals, and microorganisms. Microorganisms are very small and include the bacteria, protists and fungi. Dead organic matter, which are living organisms that have died, are also part of the biosphere. The biosphere cannot exist without the lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. We say that the lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere are the non-living parts of an ecosystem. The biosphere needs the lithosphere. Plants need soil for support when they grow. Roots anchor and support the plant in the soil. Mineral salts are found in soil. The mineral salts provide nourishment for the plant. Without plants, Animals would not have a source of energy. The biosphere needs the gases in the atmosphere. Plants use carbon dioxide and give off oxygen and water vapor during photosynthesis. Animals inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide during respiration. The biosphere needs the hydrosphere. Water is the most important substance that is required for life to exist. Without water, all life on earth would die. Water allows living things to complete all life functions. The planet earth is a huge system. The non-living parts support the living parts. Humans are at the top of the system. The lithosphere is being destroyed by soil erosion. The atmosphere is being destroyed by air pollution. The hydrosphere is being destroyed by water pollution. When the non-living parts of the system are destroyed, the living things will be destroyed too. And, eventually, humans will have neither oxygen to breathe nor food for energy. The entire system will collapse. What can you do to save our planet Earth? Let us summarize what you have learnt. The Earth can be divided into four spheres. The lithosphere includes the mountains, rocks and sand, igneous rock, 
Sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock are the three kinds of rock. Rocks are formed during the rock cycle. The atmosphere refers to the gases that surround the Earth. The atmosphere may be divided into six layers. Living things exist in the troposphere layer of the atmosphere. All the water associated with the Earth is called the hydrosphere. The water changes during the water cycle. Water is the most important substance for life to exist. All living things are part of the biosphere. The biosphere needs the lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere to exist. The lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere are non-living. The Earth is a system that includes the lithosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere and biosphere soil erosion air pollution and water pollution are destroying the lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere humans need to act so that planet earth can be saved to preserve life Oh. <laughs>